Yeah, we're ready to grow today. Welcome everybody back to another mini hoop workout. You know what it is, give and grow basketball. We got Let It Fly Ty getting buckets in the background. We got Kempton, we got Coach Matt in the shadows today. Absolutely. But... How's everybody doing? I'm Coach Mack. I'll be your basketball instructor today. Welcome to Mini Hoop Workouts. It is a gloomy, stormy day here in Baltimore, and I'm not having as much natural light that I'm accustomed to uh, during class time. All right, but let's, let, let's not let that distract us from where we're supposed to be, and we're supposed to be right here where our feet are, and we're going to start off with the fundamentals to highlight clip of the day. Let's go, you guys. If you're new to our channel, this is where we break down the basketball skill that we're going to teach you in the class. And today we have James Harden. This is a little throwback clip from when he was on the Houston Rockets. But a fundamental to highlight nonetheless, you guys. Check this out. James is all the way here on the left side of our screen. And the clip starts right off. James rips the ball through. Gets right by his defender, takes two dribbles, protects the ball from Steph Curry trying to reach in there, and then dumps it on Draymond Green. There it is. Let's go ahead. Let's see that from another angle. Rip through. This angle is real good, you guys. He has the ball on his right hand side. He rips through to his left hand side, takes a nice dribble, nice long step, protects the ball from Steph. Two steps. And finishes with authority. Look, it takes the contact. That's an and one right there. Let's get a close up on the finish. Let's grow. And absolutely, that is 101 textbook attack the back. My favorite yes. part about that drill Those right there. We'll talk more about that, I'm sure, about what he absolutely. means. So, you guys, you know how we start things off, or maybe you don't know how we start things off. Either way, we're gonna get Coach back up on the screen. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit a little. Air whip, air whip, air whip. I'm feeling something different. Yeah, let me get something a little faster. Hey, all right. All right, everybody. If you're joining us here live or on YouTube, now's a great time to bounce on your toes. Just start to shift the energy that you're gonna bring to class today. You might have had a long day at school. You might be stiff, tired. Maybe you're hungry. We're just going to let go of all of those thoughts, all of those low energy thoughts. We're just going to charge up. You're going to start shaking your hands out, shaking your arms out. Gently shake your head around. Loosen up your neck. And just let go of anywhere you might be having tension. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go, and let's grow down. We're in the triple threat. All right, we're going to start with the ball on one side. We're going to rip, step. All right, here we go. We're right back. One side, sweep to the other side, step through. Back, triple threat. Sweep to the other side, step through. Sweep to the other side, step through. Here we go. Sweep to the other side, step through. Keep that foot down. Sweep to the other side. Sweep to the other side. Here we go. Sweep to the other side. Low rip and step. Back. Low rip and step. Back to the triple threat and bop. Low rip and step. Back to the triple threat and bop. Low rip and step. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Everybody mix it up. Now we're going to get back into that triple threat. We're going to bop a little bit, get the ball to one side, low sweep, one dribble, and finish. Low sweep, and dribble, and finish. Keep it going, keep it going. Hey, hey, and finish, and finish. There you go. Basketball can be so simple. We just have to see our opponent. Take a deep breath. Let's be present. Let's be confident and trust in our own ability. Make one move and we go. All right, that is fundamentals to highlights. All right, everybody, two claps on two. Ready, one, two. One, two. Crowd boost, crowd boost, crowd boost, crowd boost. And let's grow on three, everybody. I'm talking big flex. 
I'm talking proud chest. I'm talking big smiles. You already know. Let's grow on three. One, two, three. Let's yes. grow. You already know. Motion creates emotion. The way we move our body is going to determine the way we feel and how we show up. I'm going to pass it off to Coach Ben, and he's going to tell you what it means to be where your feet are. Go ahead, Coach. Yes, everybody. So go ahead. I don't know if you're already feeling it. Are you already focused on what Coach Mack just taught us? Are you already all ears on me, all eyes on me right now? If so, you're being where your feet are. You're being here in the present moment. And one of the ways that we like to do that, as Coach Mack was just doing, is charging up. I want to ask some of our guys that are here with us, Kipton, Tyler, how does it feel or what changes do you feel happening when we charge up? What do you feel happening when we charge up? Come on, you guys. Go ahead. Unmute yourselves. You get energized for the game and you're waking yourself up in case you are just like taking a breather and calming down. You need to get back in the moment, even if you were just trying to calm down. Exactly. Let's get it up. Two claps for Let It Fly. Tie one, two. Kipton, you want any? You want to add anything to that, buddy? Um, it gets you pumped up and really excited for the. For yes. The yes. Pumped up and excited, okay? So that's one of the things we're doing when we're charging up. Does it also, oh, we got Caleb and Colin joining us. Hey. If I'm pumped up, I'm charged up, I'm shaking out my body, I'm feeling my arms shake, I'm feeling my legs shake, right? Where are those feelings happening? Are those feelings happening in the past, the present, or the future? What do you think? Where are those feelings happening? Welcome to Caleb and Colin. Ty, Kipton, you guys want to share where these feelings are happening while we're charging up, where those sensations in our body are happening, past, present, or future? They're happening in my mind. They're happening in your mind, and are they happening in the past, the present, or the future? The present. The present. They're happening right here, right now. Like I'm feeling something that's happening in my body right now. All right? So that's a key to being where your feet are is just feeling. Feeling what's going on in your body right now. So I'm going to pass it back to Coach Mac so we can get into this drill and we can get your guys' skills up. So let's grow, everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do me a favor. Let's just hop from one foot to the other foot. All right, really just feel your toes pressing into the ground. Whether you're wearing shoes, socks, you're barefoot, just feel what's going on underneath you. And like Coach Ben just mentioned, those sensations, those feelings, they're not happening yesterday. They're not happening tomorrow. They're happening right here and right now. All right, very good. So I want to just get down in our low stance, our triple threat stance. And I just want to work on sweeping the ball from one hip to the other hip. All right. I want you to imagine your defender is there with their hand right in front of you. And you're just sweeping the ball under each hand. Okay. So sweep to one side, sweep to the other side. There you go. All right. Very good. Now, sweeping. All right. If we sweep right, our left foot goes. Inside foot goes. Okay. If we sweep left, I want the other inside foot to go. You see that? All right. Sweep and go. We're right back. Sweep and go. We're right back. Sweep and go. Five, three, two, one. Very good. All right. So now what I want you guys to work on is I want you to start with the ball on one hip, whichever hip you want. I want you to sweep and step with the inside foot. And get a layup, a dunk, or any shot of your choice, okay? So, rip and step, one, two, and finish. Get it right back. Always, always celebrate those makes. Rip and step, one, and finish. A, 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 A. All right, focus on that inside foot stepping across the body, okay? 
and I'm watching you guys. It's on your left side. All right, you're gonna, you're, you're, your foot's going to follow, okay? That's a, one, a detail I left out. You want to imagine that the ball and your foot have an imaginary string together. So when the ball goes, the foot goes, okay? When the ball sweeps across, the, foot, the, uh, the same side foot sweeps across. Very good. Right, I'm going to switch to the other side. Sweep. One. Hey. Big dunk. Big finish. Hey. Rip and go. One, two. Hey. Rip across. One, two. Uh. All right. And get creative. Maybe you can go for a right-hand layup. Maybe you can go for a left-hand layup. A left-hand dunk. A right-hand dunk. Mix it up. Hey. Sweep and go. 360 dunk. I ain't gonna lie, I missed that one. I ain't gonna lie, I missed that one right there. Rip and go. <laughs> hey. And keep it going. All right. And when you sweep across the body, think do I wanna sweep across slow and with the ball away from my body? Or do I wanna sweep across quickly with the ball close to my body? Right? Sweep and go. Sweep and go. Protect that ball. If you can protect the ball, if you can keep the ball safe, you can play. You can play. Here we go. And alternate. One, two. Hey. Make sure nice. you're going left. Here we go, Caleb. Uh -huh. Love to see it. Here we go. I'm going to pull my gallery view back up. Here we go. And simple and effective. Uh, right. And you the reverse dunks going on over there, Caleb. There we go. I see you working on your layup package over there, Colin. Ty's trying to get up on his rim. We haven't seen much of that on this. Hey, oh, hey, I like that. There you go, Ty. Go get some. You uh, classes where we talked about attacking the back of the defender. So when you go for your sweep, try to visualize that because we're going to jump into that really soon. Just try to visualize what that would look like. If your defender has their one foot on the top, attacking the side that their back is facing. These are things, oh, I saw a beautiful step through right there. These are things that we can implement into our game right away and can give us easier looks, easier shots at the basket. Whether it's in the in recess, your league, or at practice, these are ways that we can get, you know, get our shot off. All right. Here we go. Let's go for one more bucket, one more bucket. And I want you all to celebrate as hard as you can here. All right. Pick your side. I'm going to sweep through. One, two. Windmill. Hey! Big flex after you make your bucket. Hey, 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 hey. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, Caleb and Colin. You guys weren't in with us for the uh, for the opening fundamentals to highlight clip. Uh, Colin, you may not love the uh, the team that this is happening to. You, this might not be your most ideal highlight, but it is a good one nonetheless. All right, when Coach Ben brings that up, we will revisit our fundamentals to highlight clip of the day. Let's check it out, you guys. So here it is again, James Harden on the left hand side of your screen with the basketball. Ripping through, stepping long, two dribbles, protecting, driving, finishing. Let's go. Let's check this out, you guys. And I have a question for everybody that's in here. And for those of us that are watching on YouTube right now. Check out James Harden. He's got it on his uh, right hip. He sweeps through and he steps with his left foot. Dribbles with his left hand. Two step finish all right now for our people that are here with us live i want to ask you guys what's different about this move than what we were just working on with you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's a little bit different it's a small detail and i love this all right caleb basket steph curry tried to steal from him but then he did a little crossover and then went for the dunk Oh, okay, okay. Let's bring it back. Let's check it out. Let's see if we see a crossover here. One dribble. Hey, yeah. Almost. It's a. It's more like a low pickup, but he almost crosses 
bounces it over there. I see what you're saying. There's that little low bounce, brings it to two hands to protect the ball. That's really powerful move for sure. Takes his two steps and then finishes. Anything else, Colin? You notice anything different about this move? No. Nothing? All right, let it fly. Ty, Kipped in. You guys got anything you want to add? I did notice that the low dribble helped him because then the defender could have noticed that and said, wait, he could be trying to go anyway because it's so close to the ground you can't even tell. Which way he's going to head next. I love that. You guys are picking on up, uh, up on something that I didn't even think about. But this is a great, great point. He changes the height of his dribble. There's at his waist. Right? His first dribble's at his waist. His second one's below his knee. Right? And that helped him to protect the ball. So that's a great call out, you guys. One thing I noticed is that James's first step is with his left foot. Right. So it's a little different. He's not doing the crossover step that Coach Mack was teaching. He's doing a, a kind of like a, what did you just call it, a normal sweep? Yeah, normal sweep. And that's where a left-handed player and a right-handed player kind of, that's like a different language. So that's a great call out, Coach. Uh, we, as a right-handed player, I'm thinking stepping across. But as James is a left-handed player, he just goes for a sweep and he doesn't need to sweep through. He's going to his strong side. So. Coach, great, yeah, great call out on that. And talk about be where your feet are. Right? You guys just kind of – you guys were practicing a harder step than what James was just doing in that clip. So thank you for calling that out, Coach. And first, shouts to you guys for your footwork. Yeah. Uh, and, Coach, uh, I, we didn't get – so Caleb and Colin, uh, I had a question on the video on how, you know – how did James Harden make that so easy? How did he get to the basket so easy? Did you notice that? Like anything that stood out to you? How did he get? Like how did he get to the lane? Because he was like um, quick about it. Like he just like did the sweep, and then he was like low when he was dribbling, and then. I love that the low man wins. Right now, there was something specific about the defender. James Harden know exactly which direction to go. What do you think? Do you think there was a tip that maybe James looked at his defender and said, oh, yeah, I know where I'm going? The back. Right, that's right. And shouts to Caleb for saying it without even seeing like the, the image. So, Coach, this is Caleb. You already see this is barbecue chicken right here. Attack the back. <laughs> Look it, and just to break this down, because you guys have seen this with us before, notice where the defender's back is facing. That's the direction that we want to go. His back is facing the direction that James goes, and that makes it harder for him to catch up once James gets by him. So great job calling that out, you guys. We definitely highly suggest you guys using that in your games. Coach Mack, you want to show us how you turn this fundamental into a highlight? Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm going to catch the ball. I'm going to land on two feet. I'm going to be where my feet are. All right. For me, for you guys, when you get the ball in, in, in practice, in recess or a game, just see where the – look at the defender's feet, 1-1,000. One, 1, see their feet, and then we see the basket, okay? We're going to rip for, you know, for maybe – yeah, okay. One high dribble, one low dribble, and a finish, okay? Sweep and step. Boom. Two gather. Hey! Let me run it right back. All right, low sweep, boom, one dribble, low dribble, protect the ball, and finish. All right, who's up next? So we're trying to see some fundamentals turn into highlights. Let's get it. Let's check it out. Caleb, Colin, coming to you first. Low sweep. Nice hey. low dribble. And your way to take off right there. Love to see it. Oh, with the wind? Hey, listen. Oh, you guys. All right, let's check it out. Ty. 
Low sweep. Oh, hey. get up. Hey, I'm, I'm loving that they, they must have dropped it. They must have dropped the little, uh, the, the arcade part down. I'm seeing they're getting up on that rim, coach. There we go. There we go. Let's see it. Kipton. Taking his breath. I love that, Kipton. Sweep and go. Nice low dribble. Uh. Way to go. Next play speed. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. yeah it is. Good yeah. job. Way to stick with it, Kipton. Wait to, hey, make it rain, Kip. I'm gonna rain. Make it I love rain, it. Kip. Nothing's holding this man back, you guys. All right. You already know I gotta come to you in full effect. I'm gonna hit him with this. Great work, everybody, today. You already know it's time for the MVP. This is where we slow things down. We really work on our mental game. So go ahead, take a seat, lie down, whatever's going to be comfortable for you. I'm going to switch up this music a little bit, put a little more volume on it. Go ahead, let's start off, you guys. Sometimes it's easier to feel into our body and be where our feet are when our eyes are closed. So go ahead and close your eyes. And wherever your feet are, whatever your feet are touching right now, go ahead and start to feel into your feet. Feel the energy that's there. See if you can feel the energy moving down there. And if it's challenging for you and you can't really feel anything, just keep your awareness there for a moment more. Our energy flows where our attention goes. So if we want to be where our feet are, we can put our awareness on our feet. Beautiful, you guys. Now I want you to go ahead and we're gonna practice some visualization now. I want to, you to imagine that you are James Harden. You're being guarded by a professional defender. Look that defender in their eyes. Notice their stance. How are they playing you? And see where that defender's back is. Is their back facing the left? Is their back facing the right hand side? And whatever way their back is facing, I want you to imagine ripping that ball through just like you practiced. Taking one dribble, blowing by that defender. Taking another low dribble, blowing by Steph Curry. Taking your two steps towards the hoop in slow motion. One, two, and then elevating, jumping so your eyes are level with the rim. Any defenders are below you as you finish nice and strong over top of everybody. Landing all the way to the ground and hitting your favorite celebrations with your favorite teammate right there next to you. Great job visualizing the perfect move. Visualizing turning a fundamental like attacking the back into a highlight. That's beautiful right there. So go ahead and show yourself some love with three positive self-talk statements. That can sound like, I am cool, I am confident, I am fast, I am strong, I am brave. As you say those words, feel that confidence in your heart. Feel that love for yourself and your heart grow. Let's get it, you guys. Go ahead and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Come back to the screen. And really quick, I want to ask one of our players, first person with their hand up, who wants to share what that visualization what was like for them? All right. I'm going to go with Kipton. Kipton had his hand up just a little quicker. What was that visualization like for you, Kipton? Speak up a little louder, Kipton. It was like calm and peaceful. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. 
And what did you see when you imagined yourself going by the defender and going up for your finish? What did you see? What stood out to you? Come back to the screen again, Kipton. I saw myself being, being positive and saying positive things. Awesome. Awesome. Great job today, Kipton. I'm glad you had a good experience with that for sure. You guys, today we're bringing back something special. I got to find it first because I forgot about it until this moment. <laughs> huh. Where are we at? Got it. All right, you guys. So we don't have Josh with us today, so we'll take him off the screen. Let's go on full screen mode on this. Can you guys still see the screen? Yep. All right, you guys. You know what it is. We got Tyler, Caleb, Colin, and Kipton. We're going for our prize winners of the day. So let's check it out. Let's spin this wheel. Dun, 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 dun. Colin! Hey. Congratulations on prize winner number one, Colin. Well deserved as always. We we started coming back to this because everybody deserves to be on this chance to win a prize. We don't want to just pick it out because you all are putting in that energy and effort. So let's see who's prize winner number two for another $10 Amazon gift card. Hey! <laughs> I love it. I love seeing you guys get excited. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube, but everybody's clapping it up for everybody right now. The final household versus household here for the final prize. Yes. Who's gonna take it home, everybody? Maybe take a second. Visualize yourself winning. Visualize those feelings of that energy coming into your body. And let's see if it's gonna happen for you today. saw Caleb doing the visualization. I don't know if you were kept in, but I saw Caleb doing it. He really just did that. Shout out, you guys. So, great job to everybody once again. Thanks for joining us, Coach Mack. Thanks for bringing back the prize wheel. You already know, everybody. Time to hit a let's grow on three. Coach Mack, break us down. There you go, prize winners. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. We will see you again. Well, I will not see you. Coach Ben will see you on Thursday. He's going to run the show. All right, and you already know it'll be time to grow. Big flex, million dollar smile on three. One, two, three. Let's grow. Yeah!